Welcome back everybody, Broadbent here. So today is the start of a new season for Stranded Deep. Now, what happened? I know you've got a bunch of questions. Basically, the update came out and completely broke the save. Uh, things were completely all over the place on the main island. So, we're gonna go ahead and start a new save file. Now, I would've shown you how bad things were, but I started messing around with a cartographer, or cartographer, is that how you pronounce it? And basically deleted the save without knowing it. Um, so I can't show you it, unfortunately. We're gonna go ahead and just start a brand new save file and try and get as much done as we can in a very short amount of time. Damn, that's loud. Now, I don't think I showed you this in the first season, purely because it's just so jarring. Personally, think it needs quite a bit of work. Pfft. Yeah, quite a bit of work indeed. Our island looks like it's sort of in between a large one and a small one. So let's go ahead and get the paddle. If you remember from the last uh, island, our last save, our paddle was completely broken. We couldn't use this thing at all. So they've got a new life raft, as we saw in the last season. Got some food rations and some stuff in there, which is very, very good. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead. We've got to be careful as well, because the, uh, the raft will now drift. There's a current... So let's go ahead and see if we can find any wrecks. I think there's one over there, actually. Okay, we've got wreck number one up here. We're going to go ahead and be very careful and not get poisoned, because that was the bane of our last season. We've got one crate straight away. Oh, we've got a vehicle part. Got some tires. We can perhaps start making a raft straight away. I think that was the only wreck we had on this spawn island, which is not very good. So let's go ahead and get to work. Is that... Oh, I thought that was Pippi for a second. That would have been too good. Ha! Oh! <laughs> no way! That's incredible. We've got potatoes as well. Oh my god, this is the best spawn... Oh, this is the best spawn island. This is legit the best spawn island I've ever had. Granted, I've only had about three. I don't think, quite worryingly, I haven't seen any... Ah, tarp. Just as I was about to say it. Yep, got a bunch of new sound effects. We could definitely do with a few more animations, that is for sure. And let's go ahead and make a refined knife. Coming on big time. There we go, bunch of food. There we go, Kudax. And new sound effects there. Uh, I like it. There we go. Let's pop a shelter down. Right there. What was that noise? <gasps> Water still. Bingo. So they've changed the way this works. This now requires palm fronds to uh, collect water. So last night we went ahead and sorted out our gear right here. This is the stuff that we're going to leave behind. Everything in my inventory is what we're going to take. Now we've also got some food over on the raft here. I've gone ahead and plonked that in. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and adventure out to another island now. And that's where we're going to be setting up camp. I really like the look of this one right here. Or maybe that one. It seems to be the larger one. So let's go ahead and push the raft out to sea. And there's also a wreck I want to check out. The very first one we saw when we crash landed. If you look carefully, you can actually see the top of the uh, of the ship right there. So we've got to be careful. We've got to go ahead and anchor our raft whenever we go in the water now. Because it can drift away. As I mentioned in the beginning, we have a current. So let's go ahead and stop right here. Put the paddle back. And deploy the sea anchor. I don't know where that went. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. So... Yep, so we've definitely got a shark on us. Let's not go in. We're going to completely cancel that. Shame, because I really wanted some extra gear. But let's continue on to... I'm going to go with this island right here. Now, it seems like we've chosen probably one of the largest islands I've ever seen. Um, we've only got one wreck by the looks of it, if that. Um, so we might be out of luck in the crates department, the loot department. But let's go ahead and see what we can find. This is actually a really big island. We've got to be super careful we don't get poisoned. Oh. Got some more aloe vera here. Very nice indeed. Yeah, this is a very, 
very luxurious island. I'm really happy we've chosen this one. So our stats here are not in good shape at all. I've been trying really quickly to get the water still going again. Let's go ahead and get a fire going. We just need to cook some food as quick as possible. We also need kindling, which I don't know how to make. I'm actually going to go ahead and pop a food ration. I think that's just the best thing I can do right now. I'm completely out. Um, and I'm probably going to start getting a little bit weak. So let's go ahead and get a food ration. I can't even hold it. There we go. And boom. We're also quite hydrated from that as well, which is absolutely great. <gasps> yes, there we are. Water still. Perfect. Been needing that for too long. Uh, let's go and pop that down right here. Oh, is that an ugly spot? That's fine. We just need water. So with the new update, in order to fill or get the water to collect in water, we have to we have to place palm fronds down in it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's just top up the water collector all the way. So it only needs four. There we are. And that should collect water. Maybe faster? I don't know if it does it faster the more you've got in. So while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and search the island. We've got some corrugated scrap there. Very nice indeed. Now we've got a few... We've got to be careful of snakes. I forgot about that. Uh, let's check on this wreck up here. We've got two. Looking very nice. We've got one crate. I think that's all we've got there. Got another engine part. What do we have in this one? I uh, got a lantern. Very nice indeed. And I didn't check the other crate actually. Yeah, this is a huge island. I'm really liking it. We've got another Pippi. Right there. Bang on. So we should be able to... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is a great island. Now, I'm not a fan of the changes to the water collector, personally. It makes sense. But uh, gameplay-wise, I don't think it was a great move. We'll see how it pans out, though, because I've not really played with it. So we've got one vehicle part there, a gyrocopter vehicle part. Very nice indeed. So I think it's safe to walk around the island at night. In the day, you do just get kind of completely destroyed by the sun. So let's go ahead and gather everything that's loose on this island. We've got two sets of potatoes here. One there, and one there. I like having the extra space on the island because we're going to have more plots. Um, probably like two or three per plant type. I like that new sound effect. That's cool. So I just heard this do something. It had one piece of palm frond in it. And that has translated to one drink of water, I guess. And it can only hold four. So I think if we have a, um, oh, like a water pouch or uh, water skin, it will increase the amount we get from the water collector. We'll have to see, though. Oh, there we are. We've got the tanning rack. I think it's the tanning rack that we need to make the water skin. Yes, yes it is. So let's go ahead and craft that. Tanning rack, and let's plonk that down right there. And we've got some leather somewhere from the spawn island. Can we make the water skin? We need one stick. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And why can't I make it? We need two pieces of leather. Ah, oh, no. Well, we do have a ball. Oh, hello. Oh, I was really hoping for a piece of leather in that. That would have been too good. I'm going to do something very silly and something I'm probably going to regret. I don't know whether... Yeah, okay. So it's almost daytime. We've got a We've got a wreck just out here, so we're going to go ahead and try and get to it. And hopefully, the shark, or a shark, doesn't come for us. Now, if I dive underwater, the um, the light is a little bit darker, you see. So, I like to be just up here. Uh, oh, we've got quite a few wrecks. Man, this is dark. Oh, my. Wow. <gasps> we've got one of those lionfishes. A lionfish. Oh, we've got a crepe. No leather. We do have a shark, though. Oh! Oh! Quick! Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Okay, we made it, we made it. Oh, wow. Okay, so nothing too great there. I really wanted the leather so we could sort of get our water situation on track. We've got another food ration. That is, uh, is uh, definitely really good. So I'm going to go ahead and create a bow real quick. I just want to get that sorted so 
that we can perhaps hunt down that boar and we can see if our water situation gets any better. So there we go. One arrow. That was a spear. Damn it. Two arrows. Three arrows. Four arrows. I don't think that's going to be enough, but let's give it a go. There you are. Oh, yeah, hit him once for sure. We've got two bars. Even better. Three hits in. Oh my god! As if we made the perfect amount. And there we are. That is success. These crabs are going to absolutely destroy me soon. We have... I've lost the boar. There it is. It's so small. So let's go ahead and skin the boar. How many leather do we get? I think we get two pieces. Um, oh no, we got the raw hide. And we, don't need to, we need to make that into leather, I believe. Don't give me meat. Don't give me meat. Damn it, I didn't mean to harvest the meat. Wait, I've already made a tanning rack, haven't I? I've already made the tanning rack, so we can make leather now. Now, we're actually really low on water here. Uh, so, I think we'll have to chop down a few trees and get those palm fronds going again. In fact, let's go ahead and just pop this in. Right there, and that should... Yeah, there we go. Now, let's go ahead and create leather. Boom. Let's get a stick and the other piece of leather. Can I... Why can't I pick that up? Let's go ahead and get the stick and the other piece of leather right here. And let's craft the water skin. Perfect. Now, we're going to wait until that's done. We're going to collect it and see if we get an extra sip or two. Now, I'm constantly um, sunburnt here. So, I think what I'm going to do is keep on working in the night. And in the day, I'll sleep. Just until I've got my... There, there we go. Until I've got my feet on the ground. The, the night just seems to be a little bit more safe. Because uh, I don't really want to be wasting away all of the food and water that I'm drinking and eating. So let's go ahead and sleep, and hopefully we should wake up in the middle of the night. Yep, there we we've also got some water in the water collector, so I'm going to go ahead and get my water skin out. And hold E to collect. There we are, let's see. We have one serving. So we can see we've got one bar on hydration there, let's go ahead and drink. And that has done one bar. So it doesn't seem to do much at all, the uh, the water collector, other than just hold the water. I feel like the change to the water collector is a little bit too drastic. The palm fronds should last longer. This can be quite difficult to survive. Luckily, we've got quite a few uh, palm fronds on here. But really, this isn't going to last long at all. But there we go, everyone. That is episode one of season two of Stranded Deep. We have made a load. Look at all this loot we've got just from episode one. If you haven't already, press the like button just for the amount of loot we've got. That has to be probably one of the best starts I've ever had in Stranded Deep. So I'm going to round today's video up here, everyone. I apologize it's in the night, I know, but as I mentioned, we just keep getting a sunstroke. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to press the like button and remember to tune in for the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next video.